the Joe Rogan experience. Yeah, I like it. I'm really, 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 really digging it. I'm That's glad you're do doing it. I got, I got to do it, Joe. I've been wanting to do it for so long. I just, I don't, you know, and it's so crazy too because I thought that my hook would be. So my trainer basically told me I'm southpaw. I, I thought. I was a right-handed boxer. He's like, no, you're a left-handed boxer. I was like, you do don't. Do you write with your left hand? I write with right my left hand. You write with your left I hand? I do everything with my left hand. But, but you fight with your left hand forward or your right hand forward? My right hand forward. Okay, so you fight southpaw. Yes. Yes. So I thought I thought that my right hand was the strongest. That's what I thought. But my left hand is the strongest. But I got a killer right hook, though, too. But my left hook sucks. Mm. But it's all in my in my balance. He said, but your power is your two. Right, you're straight left. Yeah. Yeah. So, because I was like, no, 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 no. I was like, my power is is my right hand. He said, no, it's your left hand. So we got in a fight. <laughs> so he was like, what? What he was? He so he came charging at me, and as he was charging at me, I did this to him. He was like, you southpaw. If you would have did this, then you would have been. Right, because you were trying to set him up for a big left hand. Right. I stopped him with that. He said, right. that is your jab hand. That's right. how I know your power coming coming from here. We know a lot of fighters, uh, they would fight southpaw even though they were right-handed. That mm -hmm. was Oscar De La Hoya. Yeah. He, he's right-handed, but he would fight southpaw, so his strong hand would be forward. Okay, okay. Yeah, there's different schools of thought on that. Yeah. Like Emmanuel Stewart did that with a lot of people. Mm -hmm. He took guys that were uh, natural right-handed and he put them in a southpaw stance. Because if you're also if you're learning from a southpaw stance, you have an advantage that most people fight orthodox. Mm -hmm. So when you're fighting, it gives people a very when you fight someone who's a, a southpaw, it's confusing when you're boxing because everything's I've backwards. Heard. Yeah. So if you're not used to it, like in the early days of boxing, but then the best guys are guys like Terence Crawford who could just switch or Boots Ennis who just oh, yeah. switch. They just switch. They could fight you southpaw. They could fight you orthodox. And you're like, oh Jesus! Like you you don't know where the fuck punches are coming from. No. They're coming from everywhere. Yeah, that's why you got to yeah. learn how to stick and move. Get but out of there. Back that. in the day, that was really rare. Like Marvin Hagler was the great at that. Mm -hmm. He was the, he was like the most famous. Who of was all. it, Marvin? Marvin Hagler, marvelous okay. Marvin Hagler. Yeah, he was the middleweight champion. He knocked out Tommy Hearns, and he, I mean Hagler in his time was a destroyer. And Hagler would fight. He would switch it up all the time. He'd mm -hmm. fight orthodox. He'd fight southpaw. He can go back and forth. He would throw a punch and switch stances. Yeah. It was a, a totally. It was very rare in Hagler's day that an elite world champion would switch stances so effortlessly. But now you got, like, Terrence Crawford does it. Like I said, Boots Ennis oh, does yeah. it. I, I don't, I don't, I, I ain't going to say I can't do it. I'm saying I never have, but I might. It's a good thing to learn. If yeah. you can learn how to do things from your left side, it mm -hmm. actually shows you how to do things better from your right side, weirdly enough. It actually helps you. I'm still learning how to <laughs> write with my right hand. I, st I can't even hold this. Yeah. I'm I broke my arm once and I had to do that. I had to learn how to write and draw really? with my left hand. I mean, yeah. I think I can, you but can. it's going to be, it's awful. You can, it's, but you have to teach your hand how to do it, which is yeah. so interesting. Because you would think if your left hand does it so well, your right hand would just, you would just tell your right hand to do it. Yeah. But my left hand is stupid. It just doesn't yeah. listen good. My right hand is like. Exactly. I kind of like being left-handed, though. It's like, it, I, you know, crazily, when I was growing up, I, I got bullied for being left-handed. A lot of people do. You know, it's like I was the weird one. Uh, they, used to think it was, they used to think it was satanic. Yeah, it's just like. <laughs> they would tell left-handed people to not use their left hand back in the day. I, I, now, I heard about that, but when I was in school, they didn't do that to me. But the kids would bully me. For being left-handed. For being, I, yes. That's so stupid. And for having duck feet. I, <laughs> <laughs> do you know I look goofy? Because I hate <sighs> boxing sometimes and watching myself because I'm so goofy. My feet. Are duck feet so and they splay out? Yes, and I can't get them. I, you know, I'm I'm trying to get them to stay straight, but when I see, what, I, you know, I know what happened. I always had duck feet, but I look so goofy when I'm boxing because I hurt my knees playing soccer oh. when I was in college. I was I don't know how to play soccer, but I was, you know, playing, and I went to do a power kick. <laughs> and this person blocked me, so my body went one way and my leg went the other way. And I messed my knee up, so <sighs> I just look goofy when I'm boxing, but. Mm. That I might could use that as a, as an advantage. They were like, "Look at this goofy footed bitch." <laughs> then I get in there and I whack somebody. <laughs> but I can do it, and I love it. So you're really thinking about fighting? It I, seems like you you've got a plan in your head. Yeah. Because you're saying you're you're like painting scenarios where people underestimate you and you fuck <laughs> them up. Like so, in my mind, you're thinking about this. I've been thinking about it for a long time. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay, have one. Please don't have a lot. 
don't get don't get your head I, I really want to do celebrity boxing <laughs> who'd you want to fight uh i don't know you want to call somebody out i probably will I'm going to holler at my dog. Sam J, what's up, bitch? Let's fight. Uh, <laughs> do you uh, think that, like, how much time would you need to prepare for something like that? Um, hmm, A month. That's it? Really? I'm telling you, I, I be out here. You doing a lot? How often are you uh, if boxing? I, if I could do, if I can just, like, box s- six days a week for a what, month, 24 days, you know, you ready to fuck somebody up? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking right. I believe you. I'll fuck somebody. Short fingernails. No no need to. I would like to fight my around. peers, the people that I love. Now. Really? I, Why? Now, I could. I don't know. Cause Why do you want to hurt them? Just because it's fun, which is, you know, just like messing around like kids, you know, just messing around with my partners and shit. But I do be thinking about starting beef with people just to like. Just to fuck them up? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Don't do that. Yeah. Especially now that you're on TV. Look, I see, man, look, I be watching Clarissa Fields. I'm like, oh, that's a big fucking. Clarissa Shields. Yeah. Uh, what I said? Cl- Clarissa Fields. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mikey, they be making fun of me because I get everybody named wrong. That's Joey Diaz's move. <laughs> this, this is an entire videos of him saying people's names and wrong. And I say it with confidence, yeah. too. Of course. <laughs> that's like, what? what Joey does, too. He calls uh, Stipe Miocha Stiopic. Oh, yeah. He calls him Stiopic. He called uh, Khabib Nurmagomedov. He used to call him Kalabib. Yeah. The fucking Kalabib gets a hold of you. Yeah. The Kalabib. Yeah, Kalabib. <laughs> Kalabib. Yeah. Yeah, I I do have a a name problem. I'm, I'm going to get it together. But that's a big, she big. Like, that. That her, she, I wouldn't want to fight her. You ever heard of Ann Wolf? Oh, is that, uh, like, she ain't she old now? Yes. Yeah. Ann Wolf, uh, she used to be uh, a trainer. She was training people after she fought. And um, what's his name? Kurt. James Kirk, the guy he fought Canelo. Yeah, yeah, but she's a she, she's a psycho. Yeah, she, I would want to fight her. She had the most vicious one punch right here, right there. Boom, yep. one of the most one, vicious one punch KO in women's boxing. <laughs> Look at that, and she did a little dance after us. That was, I mean, they they had talked a gang of shit before that fight, and unfortunately, she talked a gang of shit to the wrong lady because you know Ann Wolf had like legit yeah. one punch KO power. James yeah. Kirkland, that's who it was. And who uh, eventually went on to fight Canelo? But watch this. Look at them arms! Oh my god! But it's also the skill. She's setting up this overhand right. Looking at a day and eyes. Mm-hmm. Measure, measure. Mm-hmm. And then she comes forward too predictably. Boom! Wow. Slip. Oh my goodness! Knockout. I mean, it's like one of the greatest <laughs> one punch KOs of all time. Jesus Phenomenal. Christ. I mean, that's a an amazing punch. Look how jacked she was, too. But Ooh. that's one thing. I don't want to get too jacked. Because my problem is I, I start doing too too much arm work. I'll yeah. get jacked. Yeah? Yeah. Good. Jacked. Good hard jacked. jacked. That's why I keep my hair. Because if I cut it all off, I'm going to look like a man. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't want to be. I don't want to look. Because I, I had to chill out for a second. Because I don't want to get that jacked. I still mm. want to be a little cute. 